Look, look at them. Look at them stacked up. upside down. Yeah. Wow. That's Arthur. 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 Let's hit him up. Woo! With catch him all fishing with Zach. Ketchum. Look at this fish. Hit him up. Guys, we just cleared up a massive turtle that we thought ate one of our prize fish that we just got. But fortunately for us, that fish is okay. The turtle, uh, that was a lie. He was kicking all our fish's butts, but we got in the pond and we made it happen. So we came over here initially for this bad boy. Now, things happen to your fish, you know, especially when, especially when the cold fronts come in. Fish just act a little different. They're more prone to diseases. Things happen that just aren't good for exotic fish. Now, this has always been a happy day for me, Melifix. You've seen me, uh, you've seen it work on giant Paku that have been just destroyed. There was one that was just covered in grossness, completely healed, completely healed. So now I showed you how to do it once. I'm gonna show you how, you, how I would do it in a pond situation like this where a lot of fish need the treatment. Now, if you come over here, I just shut off the aerators for you guys. Look at the arowana. This is a little bit concerning. Now, there's several fish in here. The arowana jumps. Now, it looks like he could have been hit on the side, but at the same time, if you look down here at the red tails, where are you? On the red tail, this guy right here. Look at that. Look oh, on his gill, gill plate. Yeah. Wow. That's what we have to go ahead and directly apply some Melifix to. So, this what this does, this is not a sponsored video of any kind, but this is a, basically a, a triple antibiotic ointment for fish. So you put this on there and it just stops the spread of bacteria. It's really, really good. Something I really enjoy. If you can look it up, I, I really enjoy it. But you have to be careful with it because it will stress out your fish. So if you have them in a large pond like this, I prefer to directly add it to that fish and then keep it in like a smaller pool. So this is what I'm gonna do. I have this pool, I have a net, but I don't wanna stress a fish out that's already sick, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get these fish into this pool. I'm gonna keep the pool in the water. This is that same serrated pool I used to keep the goldfish before I moved them. So I have a little bit of flow in and out, right? I'm gonna add the Melifix directly to those fish, maybe throw an aerator on for a little bit. And I'm gonna keep this fish in here for a solid, you know, five minutes, sometimes longer, but I want this to sit directly on the fish's skin. That's something that doesn't happen a lot. A lot of times people just add it to the water, which is okay, but if you can hit the skin directly with this Melifix, I like to add a little bit of a bluish dye or any color you want, red, blue, any color. But uh, a lot of times I, I add like dark blue so I could see where it's hitting the fish's fins in the infected area. A lot of times the infected area will be red or be yellowish or whatever. So a, a blue is easy to see. But I don't have that non-toxic food coloring with me. I used that last time in my last video healing this massive Paku that was just disgusting looking that we got from our friend Chris. So um, I healed that with the Melifix. I just added a little bit of non-toxic blue food coloring so you could see where that Melifix is in the water on to on the fish on the fish's scales it's a lot easier to see that while you're adding it but you could still see it it's just gonna be clear so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna keep this in my handy dandy Mario my Mario pouch and I'm gonna go ahead in the pond with these fish I'm gonna try to not stress them out too much first I'm gonna go ahead and jump in with this arowana now the problem is the arowana likes to chill over here with the Paku check it out see that guy on the right He's messed up. Now look at all the Paku he's with. <laughs> so, so it's gonna be tough. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna leave this bad boy over here. Go ahead. And I'm gonna go ahead and climb around. All right, so. Uh -oh. oh my God. They feel it. They know. <laughs> yeah, they already know what's going on. Everybody just chill out. Chill out. okay. No, I haven't been in here in a while with you because it's cold. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Everybody stay on your side, stay on your side. So, catfish. I got one catfish I gotta throw in here. I really should do two, I might do two. But I definitely have to get this air one in here. So, 
We're gonna go ahead and fill this up. The arrow's over here in the corner. Mm -hmm. It's all right, don't worry about it. Don't okay. worry about it. Just gonna fill, fill this up. Make it nice and easy. Nice and easy, like that. Oh my God. Now all the pocket were chilling. Look at them, look at them stacked up, upside down. It's okay. <laughs> they think you're gonna do it to them. Where is the arrow? The arrow's, arrow's probably on the other side. Yeah, I see him. He's on the opposite side right there. So I need just the right balance of water so that this floats and that arrow can still just go in circles. It won't go too crazy. Just fine. It stays right there. Okay, so. Going back this way, watch the arrows run behind me. Okay, the arrow's right here. Somebody's right here, I'll focus on you. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. So do your thing. He's gonna go back this way, right to the net. Perfect. Is he in there? Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, now, I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to do this. Okay, so, like I said, it's gonna be difficult. Hold on. Now arrows are jumpers, notorious for jumping. Just come in. Oh, stay in there, stay in there, stay in there. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. It's cool, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> See, now this is the thing. This is the thing that we have to do that's gonna be tough. We have to just, hopefully he just chills there. Now we can see if that's a bite mark or if that's an infectious disease. Now it looks like, don't jump in my face, buddy. Me, I just lost a scale. Uh, it looks like a clean bite mark, actually, from above. If you look at it, let me look. Hey, buddy. I know. I love you. Yeah, it looks like he was actually bit from like, like he tried to get pinned. Now, Paku are notorious for taking advantage of situations. So, if they see a fish is weak, they will attack. It only takes a little bit of a mellow fix to treat a fish, to treat a large body of water. But since I have this big pond, I'm gonna go ahead and just dose it. Hard to Hard to oh God. I knew it. <laughs> uh, you knew it. And like I said, they don't like this. They don't like the smell of it, they don't like the taste of it. They don't like anything about it. And also this tree is cuddling with me <laughs> so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna dose this first because unfortunately when i go over the arowana that thing goes crazy but this has a extremely high dose of melafix right now extremely high so he's gonna get in here it's definitely gonna hit that scale a hundred percent and hopefully he stays in there for a little bit Arowana first, then we're gonna go ahead and go in that red tail. How low that arowana is. Yeah, he's smart, dude. He is not happy. Oh, I almost fell. Come on, buddy. You know what to do this. No jumping. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. I've been so hands-on with this fish, you know. I hate to put pressure on them like this. But it's what you got to do if you want to protect this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and push it. No, 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 no. Perfect, perfect. Stay up, stay up, buddy. Stay up. Stay up. Perfect. So now there's so much metal fix. Now remember, this pond is huge. Hit that perfect right on the sore. Still have half the bottle. Still have way more than half the bottle. Now, all we gotta do right now is wait. He's perfectly fine. And he's just gonna sit there and that's gonna be all up on that sore. He's gonna be just fine. Now, this is the patient part. So, we're gonna come back to you guys. Um, after a while, I wish that I could put the red tail in with this, with this air <laughs> one. Cause that would save me a lot of time, but you know, it's not about saving time, it's about saving the fish and making sure that everybody's okay. You're a big dreamer, bro. Yeah, <laughs> so the catfish is right here. 
Is it this one? It's this guy. Point? This guy right here. Okay. This massive one. Because he has a sore on his belly that I actually saw. Guys, I'm telling you, if you get the Warland sunglasses anytime, any time of day, you'll be able to see this. Right now is the best time of day you could see it without a pair of Polaroid sunglasses, but the link below are the ones that I love. But get yourself some type of pair of sunglasses. These are the Waterlands. You just go catch them to get yours. But this guy, he has a sore that I want to directly put it onto his skin, which is a lot different than what I just did with this Arowana. So this Arowana's time is up. You're good to go, honey. You good? You good? So, hi, baby. Big monster has gotten. We got this guy like 10 inches from our friend Mr. Fly Guy, and this guy has just grown into an absolute behemoth <laughs> and hopefully continues to grow into a giant. You know, the cold weather does not help us at all out here in South Florida, but we're gonna go ahead and take him out. It's crazy, the color's changing on him a little bit. Yeah. I don't want to lose the elephant. Now you want to stay in there? <laughs> I, I know, right? A little bubble bath. I know. I just don't want to lose this Melifix mixture, so you could just... <laughs> <laughs> All right, perfect. So, now I still have a lot of the Melifix in here. As you can see, the bubbles on the surface. If I did have that blue food coloring, it would be much easier for you guys to see what I'm talking about. So now, I need to get this monster... Oh no. Can't that's see a bacteria that's a bacterial infection hundred percent. Looks on its face too. That's not good. Normally when the warm weather kicks up, you know, things change, but we need some warm weather very, very soon. It's been cold for way too long for these fish to be comfortable. And it's it's not looking good. It definitely need to heal up this big boy with the gills because a tail shot skin ulcer stuff like that they can heal on their own pretty well but stuff up near their gills is not a good thing so this big boy right here looks very healthy everybody looks healthy which is a great thing they're all tucked in here <laughs> they're all snuggled on the yeah matter of justice. they're all very very chilly but i'd need to get this bad bad boy involved come on come on come on Oh wow! Oops, sorry. Yeah, we can see that. Yeah, that is. Come on, honey. A little hurt. Oh, come on. Just get in there for me, would you? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Okay. Did that without the net. Great. We love that. So now, we're just going to bust open our bottle of Melotics after seeing those guys. Perfect. Just let him chill there. Wow. So, like I said, I've spent so much time with these fish guys. So I, I literally handle them like a dog or a cat, <laughs> as you can see. You're gonna be just fine, buddy. I just wanted to make sure that dose of Melifix got directly on them. Cause I do see a couple areas behind its fin, behind its gills, that don't look good. Here we go look at them so everyone can see what we're talking it's about. It's not good. Right here, Which behind one? that fin. Oh, That's yeah. horrible. A little bit of rot. And right here, also horrible. Oof. Yeah, so, you know, we're going to do what we can do. We really need some warm weather. But, you know, I'm going to get that mellow fixed on them. When I do pour this out, I'm going to go ahead. Man, I love you, man. God, it sucks to see you like this. When I do pour this out, I'm going to go ahead and pour all this mellow fix in the pond with everybody. I'm going to let it sit here. I'm just going to keep the bubblers on it. Let the pump stop for a while and hopefully everybody gets treated right. Catch them up! Woo! Get
Come on. 